Uh, so it's quite clear that the glass ceiling uh, does exist um, and you see that most clearly in terms of the larger organisations where the, the white male uh, predominates in terms of senior leaders. But when you break that, the statistics down a little further, what is clear amongst young leaders, women are doing very well. They, they are doing um, even better at some of the uh, probably smaller organisations where women are very much holding their own in terms of, of leadership. And that suggests that in the longer term, um, the idea of the glass ceiling is, is potentially able to be broken. In order to um, build on that uh, um, development of a, a diverse workforce, we've got to have strategies in place. That means programs such as mentoring, um, that uh, uh, young leaders in particular are able to uh, um, uh, be able to identify strong role models. And then in the longer term we may have to look at the reporting requirements around some organisations because what you measure and report upon um, has, will have a, a longer term impact on how you, how you develop your strategies. But I think the surprising element in the statistics is that across, across all organisations, so smaller organisations, um, leadership um, is not uh, necessarily equated with higher attainment levels. That's an unusual position I think for Australia in, uh, in this era and uh, um, one can only assume that over time um, that will change because of course post-secondary education is now far more the norm than might have been um, uh, certainly a generation ago and even 20 years ago.